and welcome. Today we're having a closer look at the Faber Castell Loom. This pen has an interesting design. Uh, if you have one of these, let me know. I'd love to know uh, if people are really using these. Uh, I found this one. Uh, this one's got a white cap. I, I wasn't crazy about the white cap. I wanted something different, but this is what I could find. It was on a special, so I got it probably at about half price. Um, so we'll, we'll take a closer look at it. We'll see how it writes. I'll do a writing sample, we'll talk about what's nice and not so nice about this pen. And uh, yeah, let's head over and take a closer look. All right, let's have a closer look at the Faber Castell Loom. The first thing you probably notice is the shiny barrel. I mean, that is that is pretty hard to miss. Um, I do know that you get different color caps. Uh, this is the white one. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad either. It's kind of nice. And on the cap, you just have Faber Castell and the logo there. Uh, there's nothing on the clip and you wouldn't be able to see it, but at the back of the clip, it says China. Um, nothing at the bottom, just sort of a dimple there. And the finial at the top, it's uh, Faber Castell logo and it's sort of part of the clip. The thing about this clip is it's a plastic clip. And I don't know why you would put a plastic clip on a pen like this. But they did. And the way that you know it's plastic is because when you touch it, you can sort of faintly hear creaking noises and it, it is the plastic. Now, is it spring loaded? I do think it may be because um, it does a little bit of that. Now, I, I wouldn't recommend doing a lot of that because I don't trust the plastic um, in this clip. It doesn't feel very, very good. Um, I think the clip will work and it will do what it's supposed to do. How long it will do that, I don't know. So that's that's the only thing about the bold quality that I find disappointing is this clip. Otherwise, the, the cap, it's quite nice. It's got a, quite a nice material and um, it's a snap cap, by the way. Very satisfying click. And we have a kind of a, well, that's plastic too, but a shiny ring at the end of the clip. So we uncap the pin and we have a, the um, section is metal, the barrel is metal, and you can definitely feel a weight to the section. It's definitely heavier, um, which is not a bad thing. I think it's quite nice. And then we have the, uh, the nib there. Very, very basic, classic kind of a nib. This is a fine, by the way. It's got the Faber-Castell logo on there and it's it's just it's just nice you know barrel and screws i've got a um, cartridge in this one that i fold with an ink of my color of my choice wonder if you can guess what ink i'm using here but anyway we've got a plastic insert in the barrel and we've got metal threads on the section but it's very smooth. I don't think there's going to be any wear on the insert there at all. You, you do get the feel of quality when you hold the pen. It's, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Really just enough weight to feel comfortable. The, the section is a very comfortable width. It's, it's a nice pen. I mean, the, the shiny barrel, I think, I mean, you're going to have fingerprints all over this thing. That That's a guarantee. I experienced that as well. But, you know, it's not it's not a deal breaker. But there is something that's a deal breaker for me. And it's it's these, these rings on the section. These are so uncomfortable. They are quite sharp. And the way that I hold my pen, my pen rests on this finger there. And it's just, it really eats into my finger. So... I don't use this pen for anything more than brief note taking, which which is a pity because it's actually it's actually a wonderful writer. And on that note, let's get into the write, writing sample and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm using my Rhodia dot pad 
and uh, I'll just zoom in so we have a better view. All right, I think this should work. So let's let's have a look. Does this pin cap? Yes, it does actually cap very nicely. Um, it there's a point at which you start to feel a little bit of resistance, and then it it goes on, and it's very secure secure there. So it caps very nicely actually. Um, but I don't need to cap my pin, so so I don't. So right, what let's let's do a writing sample. We have the Faber Castell boom, and it's a horrible handwriting today. This is the fine, and the ink that I'm using today. Diamine Steel Blue. Doesn't look like steel blue, but um, it, it actually is steel blue. I've got a bottle right here. It's an ink that I haven't been using a lot, so I thought I would give it a go. Wetness, it is decently wet. And it's the one thing I really love about the nib on this pen. It's it's a fine, but it's not too fine. It's it's got, and it's really smooth and it keeps up. Let me show you. Keeps up, no problem. Uh, line variation. I don't think you will get any real line variation out of this. You might get a little bit of shading depending on which ink you're using because when you put a little bit more pressure on the nib you get slightly more ink flow but um, no real line variation. This is a very hard steel nib. So in terms of writing, this is a really nice writer. I actually, I really do enjoy how this pen writes. It's such a pity about the section because that for me is the deal breaker. It's uncomfortable. I cannot use it for long. Um, so after a few notes I have to put it down. Other than that it's actually quite a nice pen. It's a pity about the, the plastic clip. I think it attracts a lot from the quality, the bold quality of the pen. And uh, if you hear some background noise there please just ignore it. I've got dogs and neighbors and we've got and it's windy etc etc. So sorry about that. But all in all, this would have been a great pen if it wasn't for the two things that, that really spoil it for me. And that is the, that is the clip, which detracts from the build quality and the really hard uh, ribs on the section that is just unnecessary because even without that, I mean, I suppose it's there for grip, but you don't need it. Uh, you absolutely don't need it. Uh, you don't need anything there for grip. Even my pens that has a shiny chrome section um, that you would think it would get slippery etc they don't uh, you don't need anything extra here it's it all this does when you mess around with a section like this um, it just means that there's a lot of people that's not going to use this pen um, you just need a basic section i don't know why they do that well anyway that's my rant uh, I, I do think this pen is a little overpriced. I don't know what the uh, exact price of it is now, but I do know that it's more expensive than the Pilot Metropolitan and it's more expensive than the Lamy Safari. And I don't think it's a better pen than either of those. In fact, I, I think the, you know, if I had to choose uh, the Pilot Metro Metropolitan, excuse me, I, I think offers a slightly better value for money because there's almost nothing on that pen that I can fault. And this one is almost double the price of the Metropolitan. Not quite, but almost. And I don't think it's worth it. Very interesting design, nice. I mean, if you want something different, this is it. It writes well. If the section is not going to bother you, um, I wouldn't say don't get this pen. I would, I would, then I would recommend it because it's a really, really nice writer. 
So that's my take on the Faber Castell Loom. If you have one, please let me know what your writing experience is like and uh, what you like or don't like about it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I, I really appreciate that. And um, thank you for watching today. I will see you next time.